10 of our top European Union stories from the Unit UK include Europe in Review Live. EU must ensure Moldova isn't the next Crimea, Juncker says. European Union expresses grave concerns on Turkey's Twitter blog. And EU keen to have Africa at summit. Plus, the EU's Big Band and Beyond, a decade after Eastern enlargement. It's Wednesday, 2nd of April. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. First up, the hot story from our website, theunituk.com. Europe in review live. Tomorrow lunchtime, join us here at the unit live from 12 noon, Thursday, 3rd of April. Following up on the Europe debates between Nigel Farage and Nick Clegg, come and join us in a table talk discussion, analysis and review. Watch the show live here on the website or join us via Google Hangouts, phone in with your questions and points of view or ask questions via Twitter by mentioning at the e-unit in your posts. Our research team, myself, Trevor Coleman MEP and guests will be hosting a special The Unit Table Talk chat show and reviewing the televised debate on Europe between Nigel Farage and Nick Clegg. Join us for post-debate analysis and comments. To be part of the show via Google Hangouts, you'll need to join our The Unit community on Google+, and more details can be found on our website. You must ensure Moldova isn't the next Crimea, Juncker says. Jean-Claude Juncker, the former Luxembourg Premier, who wants to be next head of the European Commission, said Europe must rush through an association deal with Moldova to avoid it becoming Russian President Vladimir Putin's next target for annexation. After events in Ukraine, it is of great urgency that the Europeans sign the association agreement with Moldova very quickly. In the next few weeks, Juncker told the German newspaper Die Welt und Sonntag in an interview. The president of Moldova, an ex-Soviet republic of three and a half million people, warned Russia this week not to consider any move to take over Moldova's separatist Transnistria region in the same way it has taken control of Crimea in the Ukraine. Now, if you haven't seen it already, it's important to contrast the EU rhetoric with the other side of the Ukraine argument. The mainstream media is writing up Russia as the aggressor, but deeper below the surface, investigation reveals that the opposite is true. Adding further salt to the wound, the unit has also learned that Ukrainian gold has gone on walkabout. According to public records, the government of Ukraine owns 33 tons of gold that was being safe kept in the Ukraine. Last week, a Ukrainian newspaper reported that acting PM Arseniy Yatsunyuk ordered the transfer of that gold to the United States. And we believe that this sovereign wealth transfer would be counted as partial collateral for a fresh round of IMF, US Fed and ECB paper debt that is currently being organised for dumping into the Ukraine's economic black hole. And a hat tip goes to 21st Century Wire for this story. He expresses grave concern on Turkey Twitter block. The Turkish government's block of access to Twitter raises grave concerns about Turkey's commitment to European values and standards, the European Union's Commissioner for Enlargement said Friday. Access to Twitter in Turkey was blocked late on Thursday after the popular microblogging site failed to respond to Turkish court requests on removing some links. The ban on social platform Twitter.com in Turkey raises grave concerns and casts doubt on Turkey's stated commitment to European values and standards, Stefan Fuel said in a press release on the EU website. Now, the unit has also learned that Turkey has also blocked YouTube. Our view is that careful attention now needs to be paid to the situation in Syria. European Union keen to have Africa at summit. Well, I promised last week to run stories on Africa to expose the deep investment and involvement of the European Union on the continent. Well, we're still running stories this week and they just keep coming. 
The one great point to highlight in this article is that the mainstream media has now begun using the term African Union. So folks, we said here on this channel almost two years ago, there is a vision to build an African Union. As this article clearly states, here it is. And the article opens... The European Union yesterday made a plea to African governments not to boycott next week's EU-Africa summit in Brussels, Belgium. EU ambassador to Zimbabwe, Mr. Aldo Del Aricia, said a lot had been invested in preparing for the summit of 64 heads of state and government. However, the Foreign Affairs Minister said permanent representatives to the African Union had already informed their principals of the Peace and Security Council's decision to boycott the summit if the EU insisted on interfering with the composition of the continental delegation. This article is critical reading for our community as it's a vital piece in the puzzle. The EU's Big Bang and Beyond, a decade after Eastern enlargement. On February 26, 2014, the Consuls General from Bulgaria, Lithuania, Poland and Romania visited the University of Illinois campus from Chicago to participate in the roundtable, the EU's Big Bang and Beyond, a decade after Eastern enlargement. An event organized by the European Union Center and the Russian East European and Eurasian Center Prior to the round table, they met informally with students to introduce themselves, discuss foreign service careers and answer any questions about their countries or about the European Union in general. And the article drills down into the who's who in the sphere of influence and whom and how they are carrying the message. Andrew Fia picked up on this short film produced by the Bruges Group. Leading politicians criticised the EU's foreign policy towards Ukraine and the sanctions imposed following Crimea's reunification with Russia. There are growing calls for British Foreign Secretary William Hague to put the British national interests first and not follow the EU's common foreign policy. In this film, the Bruges Group and its supporters provide the intellectual basis for opposition to the EU's expansionist foreign policy, especially its policy towards Ukraine and Russia. Remember to visit our website, theunituk.com, for all the very latest news. You can find our page on Facebook by searching for The Unit UK, all one word. Join our community on Google+, Plus, where you can interact with us, voice your opinions, and post comments about our stories, and even get involved in the shows. For all the latest tweets as they happen, then follow us on Twitter, at The E Unit. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>